Hey guys, Olaf here from LSE in Central Florida. Um, this is a video about um, roof cleaning, soft wash, and why you want to do soft wash versus high pressure. Um, this is a very nice demonstration of us cleaning the roof, actually me being on the ladder, um, my co-workers down on the ground saturating the ground with water to dilute um, the SH so it doesn't harm the grass around the property and around the facility, it's, uh, the building itself. So as you can see here in these photos, this is the roof condition after five years not treating the roof. Um, it's pretty hefty infested with um, black algae and so we're jumping here over uh, to the roof itself. As you can see the left side, that's what we done on the first day. We had to cut that short because it was raining too heavy and this is what I've done already um, cleaning with a sodium hydrochloride uh, solution and um, we're using low pressure so we're using a 12 volt uh, diaphragm pump and there I just almost dropped my phone down I caught it and repositioned the camera here in a second and so you can see I'm hitting it just with um, pretty much very low pressure, 60 psi, with the diaphragm pump which runs off a 12 volt battery. And as you can see, the sodium hydrochloride SH, we said in our business terms, solution reacts right away and turns white. That means it's reacting with the algae on the roof tile and it's pretty much eating up the algae, killing it. So you guys can see actually that the SH solution reacts immediately as long as you apply it uh, thick enough. So make sure that you have uh, slow down um, ingredients in it, not just pure SH, um, because it will just run down off your roof tile, um, especially if you have an asphalt roof, even more same as with the metal roofing. Uh, this is a clay tile roof and the homeowner itself did it uh, five years ago and it took him as I mentioned at four days so he actually called his wife called us and we um, gave him a quote right away and uh, we got fairly quick to it so we've done that over the Labor Day weekend here and so with the gun um, applying around two and a half gallons a minute. I'll change the pump out soon to actually support up to seven gallons a minute to speed up the process for us. But right now we're just doing it with a, a gun with a zero degree tip uh, with a nozzle opening for two and a half gallons per minute um, just so that we get some distance with it uh, with the pump where you're using um, in this setup but as you can see looking at it it reacts fairly quickly um, it takes up to four minutes actually for the SH to unfold its full capacity into eating up and eating into the tile destroying all the algae um, what you're gonna see also often when you do not do that frequently enough is that when you start washing it off that um, coloration and material will be just running down with it and um, that's because the algae actually de starts de destroying your tiles to the point that it actually deteriorates so I highly recommend uh, to my customers every two years to actually have a roof cleaning done and as you can see how quickly it reacts this is all real time um, me just applying it and very quickly it reacts white that means it's reacting with the algae and eats up the algae which is on the surface and deep into the pores as well um, again it takes up to four minutes so this is a different camera shot already on the roof uh, you see on the right side I've done it on the left side you see that I have not um, this is sped up now uh, four times um, otherwise I wouldn't get all that into uh, this video and you have to work with the wind so sometimes the wind is pushing uh, your 
water stream out of your area and you cannot shoot as far as I can do it right now um, because then the wind gust is just pushing it shorter and pushing it to the side so be careful when you do that um, it's high toxic especially if you breathe it or you get it onto your clothes it produces a lot of heat and at the end it's actually eating up into your your skin and does do damage to it also when you work with that make sure you have very good ventilation around it and make sure that the wind is not pushing towards you so when you spray uh, make sure that you actually have the wind coming from the behind you or from the sides um, <clears throat> also highly I recommend you have a respirator on and I'm talking really a two-stage respirator something good not, not just the, the little dust mask I'm talking a real respirator with a cartridge in it where it actually filters out um, the chemical and so as you can see I'm spraying the chemical and have my finger a couple times on that camera in this angle shot I'm actually on the second story roof now on the north facing side which was the worst side of that house um, the front side of the house and uh, pretty much the left side of the house both are facing northbound um, that's where most of the black algae grow and you see in between how quickly it actually eats it off so um, this was me just moving over the ladder to the side and you see uh, how quickly it actually eats up uh, the black algae and so ideally you want to do an SH uh, treatment higher concentration I'm using here pure SH not diluted uh, with around 12 to 14 percent so this is really dangerous stuff so don't 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 just think oh this is just a regular bleach uh, which is sodium hydrochloride but um, this is commercial high commercial grade um, we pretty much buy it the same day at our supplier and use it the same day if not the same day then the day after because it starts to deteriorate quickly uh, so you can't storage um, sodium hydrochloride too long um, if you store it store it in a climate controlled environment and away from the sun the sun the UV light destroys the SH very very quickly and so if you have it sitting out for let's say two three weeks it's pretty much useless it's so washed and watered down and broken down and it's less than two percent so make sure that when you buy and you use it actually for your roof that you buy a fresh batch each time when you do a roof so when you have tile roofs also um, they have different pitch angles so you have to actually hit it from both angles uh, especially when you're on the ladder uh, so make sure that you get it from both angles because each tile has that not only the groove but also that pitch um, which you cannot hit when you're st um, especially when you're on the second story you can't hit it from any angle or every angle so quite often you have to move the ladder back and forth um, what I do I do it from one side and one side all the way and then I move the ladder on the opposite side to hit it from the opposite direction that seems for us and for me uh, so far the best way and the quickest way to clean up a roof and so the rest of this video is pretty much sped up four times as I mentioned before so watch and enjoy the rest of the video I'll get back to you guys by the end of the video now you can see it actually that I moved the ladder again you see how there are still dark spots visible and that's because I couldn't get that from the other angle when I had the ladder 20 feet to the right I couldn't get there so the sodium hydrochloride didn't run to the left side of that ridge each time and so you have to move the ladder in order to get it and um, that's pretty much the only method you can safely wash a roof um, without using high pressure uh, which I highly do not recommend to use because you pretty much destroy the tiles there you can see actually the pool cage uh, which we cleaned the day before as well 
And so now I'm trying to reach as good as possible to the back side of the roof. Uh, we had a little bit of a wind gust every now and then coming in, so it was hard to reach. Um, but I covered pretty much um, everything which was black mold uh, on the right side of the back roof side and um, got that all good saturated and we washed it down so make sure that when you apply this give it around five minutes time and then you can start to rinse it off what I use is a garden hose and put a spray nozzle on it uh, what you also can do is you can reuse your gun um, especially if it's only a single story just reuse your gun and just rinse out your gun system by just running uh, clean water through it um, rain will also wash it down but it will take time to to wash it down so I always recommend to wash down um, the chemicals before you leave the job site uh, there's too much of a risk going on especially with the high concentrated uh, SH like we use and we also have a soap uh, mixed into it uh, we're using Dawn soap uh, to slow down the runoff uh, we can also using a slow mo and other chemicals for it, but so far it turned out that the best way is actually for us to use just uh, Dawn soap uh, because it just foams up better. So this is the side, the opposite side of the weather side, and as you can see, it's not as bad. That's what it should look like after two, three years um, before it actually turns all the way black. Um, when you have a roof which is only a little bit like this, um, you can actually dilute your SH down 50-50 and um, can get it all cleaned um, a lot faster. You don't have to really saturate it as much. So, and this is pretty much the after picture. Uh, if, if you pause your video, pause this video and actually go back to the beginning of it, you see the before and here you can actually see the after all in all it took us a day uh, to clean this roof uh, it has multiple sides multiple niches and offsets uh, it's a very nice roof but uh, it's, it's sometimes also a little tricky to reach especially the area if you zoom into this video a little bit or you do it in uh, full screen you're going to see there's a little tiny bit over that uh, upper floor left window that's where I had the ladder even leaned against and there is some discoloration already in the tile so far in that we cannot bleach it out so to speak uh, that's permanent damage in the roof tile as discoloration there are a couple discoloration spots in which are not cleanable anymore uh, because the homeowner waited too long that's why I always recommend homeowners to check your roof take a look at it every two years to make sure best is every year actually as an interval just to check but every two years I recommend especially with uh, natural material tiles or um, also asphalt roofs which do not have uh, algae growth prevention uh, built in uh, some do which is a special sealer uh, which we also offer to apply if, if a customer chooses to do so so Thanks again for watching this video and please rate and subscribe and leave your comments below about your experience or if you want to get us hired uh, to do the business for you to take care of your roof. Uh, we're covering all Florida so no matter if you're in Jacksonville in uh, Panhandle or down in the Keys we take care of you. Um, just give us a call 407-680-0882 or check us out in the web uh, www.luminanet.info where we show all our services we not only do um, soft roof cleaning we do also high pressure driveway full house cleaning um, pool screen cleaning and repairs as well uh, we also do metal fabrication so come and check us out at luminanet.info thanks for watching and have a good day